So today we'll discuss about a very interesting topic on make when we do no code automation. At time we get to see uh, or when we get to hear outputs in array, collection, nested arrays and we generally get confused how to get an item out from that array. We just see one single collection out of that array that is available to map. However, if we have to get each of the collection from array and map specific items, then it's quite a struggle and you just go and search on various platform, Facebook community here, there and you get one of the common answer is use map function. But the big question is how to use map function because when you go to this guide and everything, it's quite tricky. So today in this video, I'm going to show you a very simple, very basic method. You can get complete command on map function. We'll use two examples of WooCommerce orders, right? So WooCommerce orders generally have so many meta tags and those meta tags or let's say different line items, they have quite big array and different collections for each of the meta tag. So we'll use that example and we'll see how to work with map function, right? So let's get on a screen. So so here you can see I got one of the orders output and I passed into JSON for an example and here we have something called meta tags or metadata. Now these metadata or uh, tags will have a wide collection or combination of almost 19 items, right? So these are 19 items combined into an array. For example, let's open first. So it says KP reading time or let's say is wet exempt, the value is no, something else something else. So let's say what is the UTM parameter, UTM link, UTM source. And now if you have to map them to the next module to get hold on each of the item and pass it to the next module. Now let's add another module. Let's say for example, set variable here. If we try to map this metadata, you can see just one single collection, right? It's not uh, like responding with all the collections. So you can't map any of the values directly. So here you will have to use map function to get value of a specific item. So let's try and uh, build a map function. So first of all, where is the map function? So map function is available under functions with uh, like under the array function collection. So you can just click on here under functions and array. And you can see here, this is the map function, right? So uh, even there is a small guide also on this array of this map function. Now, instead of that, you can even simply type map and open the bracket. So here we'll see this map function available. Now, uh, first step is let's define what we want to map or let's say from where we want to map any value. So that's an array. So first we have to select the source of this map function is array metadata. Now put a semicolon and second part will be what you want to get out of this. So let's say we want to get a value of particular item, right? So uh, how I shown you. So now let's hover the cursor over here metadata and you will see this entire collection of ID key and value. So here you see Let's first define what we want to get out of this is the value. Now you'll have to use the internal name of each of the attribute. So we want to get value. You can see here the raw name of uh, this field is value like small v. So let's put value. Now what is the parameter to get that value is our key. So again, I'm just over the cursor over here and you can see the raw, raw name of this field is key. So small key. Finally, which key I want to extract. So like, again, as I said, this metadata is an array and there are multiple collections. So which particular collection I want to use from there, right? I want to get value from there. So let's leave it for now. I'll just close it, save. Okay. And let's go here. Let's see. This is the metadata. Uh, for example, I want to get value of this something called, uh, underscore metor UTM source. Right. So we want to get value of this particular key. Let's go here and let's define this key. Just simple copy paste, right? So always remember or uh, ensure that this is case sensitive and you have to uh, be very careful with this. So now this is our entire map function build. So first of all, the array where we want to get item, what ultimate outcome we want is the value on which parameter is the key parameter and what is the parameter uh, source or let's say the value for which we want to looking out for. Simple click OK and let's run this once. So here we can see our output uh, is Facebook. So whatever we saw there is our output available over here. Let's change this and I think this variable name was let's say output variable something. Right? So this is number one. Now since map is an array function, so you can see here the output again appear in array type, right? So 
if you want to map it to let's say any next module subsequent module you'll find a difficulty at times the other module field may not accept array value or let's say array collection as an input so you have to change it into a normal text output so to do that you will have to use get function so what is get function so out of this array if we have to extract one value right in a text format you can use get function so from again where we can get so get is so here you can see on the general functions there is something called a get function now how get works is so it works with an array and you can define the object and like which object you want so let's say it is uh, indexing one two three four or it can be a particular object name itself so let's say for this basic example since we have already one item available there so we'll be using indexing right so let's use get and start get map is already embedded inside this and we want to use index one since there is only one item so it can return the first item itself into a normal text string right so let's click ok let's redo this so here you see earlier the output was into an array format now it's simple text format right part of collection and this you can easily map anywhere uh, in the subsequent modules now let's uh, do this exercise for multiple fields so let's say let's set multiple variables and here you can see so for example if i want to define let's say item one item two so whatever metadata right so metadata i will just change it, metadata one metadata two and metadata three right so through this and let's quickly do this again for map function so map this entire array of metadata what we want is the value uh, what is the parameter is the key and what is the parameter value itself so we can define it from our previous module so you can simply click over here and let's try to get now multiple values together so this is again something called like the metric session start time this is what we want to get so let's go here and simply paste this close bracket perfect this is one let's put get function as well so get we want to get the first value on this entire array same way go here let's try another parameter so let's go for metadata let's see what is the uh, psy purchase event fired is it one two so it's a boolean we'll get that so let's see let's quickly put this over here and maybe metadata 3 what we want is so you can subsequently like map almost all the metadata together right so let's quickly copy this function over here and let's try to get one more data item so this is around for example okay so woocommerce order based base currency is australian dollar right so we want to get value of this particular item perfect so we are now fetching three items from this metadata right click ok and let's run the scenario so here you can see all three items are appearing as a uh, individual values and you can simply map them or use them anywhere in the subsequent modules so you don't have to just like worry about how i'll get any of the values items from an array or collection or nested array the map function can do it very easily and a combination of map and get function can get you the ultimate direct value which can be mapped straight away into the modules so metadata is uh, there is something of uh, the state we got uh, the uh, boolean we got and this aud the currency we got for the order. So I hope you liked it. Similar way, there are uh, other things like you can, uh, when you work with Calendly, let's say for example. So Calendly, uh, the new event or whenever you see that any of the meeting booking, right? If you have multiple questions over there, what is person's name, email ID, phone number, or any custom questions. So similarly, there also you face this kind of problem. All the questions are appear in sort of collection and there is an array of all the collections. So similar pattern you can apply on Calendly or any other modules output. I hope you like this video. In case, if you want to see more such videos or any specific problem you want us to solve for you just comment below this video and we'll create a dedicated video based upon your particular problem solution